Hello fellow boxers, Fire Rescue 17 here. Wanted to make a quick demonstration video of the uh, cascading combat chains using the mapped key step states in response to a post on the forums. Uh, in the post I included a screenshot uh, illustrating the steps and identifying the, the different actions used to enable and disable the various steps and to reset the timers. Uh, I want to expand a little bit about, upon that in the video here. As I mentioned in the screenshot, this is a the uh, overview of my base or generic DPS rotation. It includes a combination of fire and ice spells as well as a clicky. Now those same abilities are cross-linked with a different spell sets, cold and fire. And in my profile, as you can see here, combat spam melee has the clicky, an act, uh, step one, an ice nuke, fire nuke, ice nuke, a fire nuke, and then a, just a spam spell, which is a combination fire and ice. It can be used in either uh, rotation. Uh, one thing I did not illustrate in the the image was because it was too big. Uh, in combat spam cold, it, it just includes those two ice nukes and then the combination nuke for a three-step chain. And combat spam fire is a four-step chain. It's the fire clicky, the two fire spells, and the uh, combination spam spell at the end of the chain. Now, the w in my UI here, I've stacked up the spells uh, on this hotbar right here in the middle. You can go ahead and disregard the rest of the UI. Um, in the image, I've got step one, two, three, four, five, and six, and I've lined those up on this hotbar. Step one is the clicky, step two is the ice nuke, step three is the fire nuke, step four is the ice nuke, step five is the fire nuke, and then step six is the combination fire and ice nuke. And I want to demonstrate how those spells weave together and the different actions weave together um, based upon the steps, uh, the mapped key step states being enabled and disabled uh, by the timer actions. You're going to see uh, there's a couple other uh, actions that are included, which I did not, uh, they weren't relevant to the particular um, illustration, but you'll see a couple texts popping up here as we go along. Um, so I turn on combat and bag, Blaine Whisper, Chain Vest of Journeys, which again disregard those. They weren't included in the um, illustration. So now the next key press is going to bring up step one of my combat spam in the generic DPS rotation. And you can see that's going to fire off right here. The first key press, step one, petrified. Hardwood link shirt, which is my fire clicky. The second key press is the ice nuke. Third key press is the fire nuke. Fourth key press is the ice nuke. Fifth key press is the fire nuke. And then now everything is disabled, as you can see by the cooldown. So I'm stuck on step six. And that's going to just keep spamming over and over until something comes off cooldown. Step six, step six, oh, step one, step two just came off cooldown. There's step three, step six, step th four, step five. Step six, step six, step two, step three, 
So you can see how those weave together. This counter right here, this is what I referred to in the screenshot as disable combat. That's my wait time or an activation time. It's how long it takes to the social, in-game social to cycle. So the character is disabled and taken out of that uh, DPS rotation key map during that uh, four second window. It keeps him from attempting to cast something else yeah, in the meantime. Now this ranger uh, DPS rotation is pretty homogenous. Four second cast time. All the cooldowns are the same at 32 seconds, with the exception of the clicky. Um, so what I'm going to illustrate next is what can happen when you're mixing in different uh, cooldowns uh, in a in a DPS rotation that's less homogeneous. If I switch out to uh, a different spell set, which uh, in this case I'm going to go to cold first of all, combat assist. Step two, which is ice. Step four, which is ice. And step six of that generic DPS rotation, which I'm not in anymore, but the, the abilities are linked across. So it's going to hold on step six. Even though my fire spells are off cooldown, it's not activating them because I'm in a different DPS rotation. And what I'm going to attempt to do is throw all those timers out of whack so they don't fire linearly. So we're just spamming the different cold spells here. I'm going to switch them into spell, spell fire. Step three. Step two. Or excuse me, fire. Step 5, which is fire nuke 2. Step 6, which is my spam combination spell. And if you watch this, right here, that fire clicky just came off cooldown. If I switch back to cold, that's not going to fire because it's not included in that DPS rotation. So now you can see that my timers are all out of whack here. Things are when I go back to the default DPS rotation, they're not going to fire linearly. So I'm back in my deep, my base DPS rotation, the sixth step that's uh, in that screenshot. First uh, key press is the clicky. Step two is down, so it's going to take me to step three. St now step two is going to fire because it just came off. Step four, step five, step six, step six, step six, step three. Step two, step four, step five, step six, step six. So you can see, based on those timer pools, how the steps uh, become enabled and disabled and there is no way that I could manually, boxing six or seven or eight or nine characters, pick out which spell is going to come up next. IS Boxer is is going to going to pick those steps for me, uh, based upon the predetermined DPS rotation and the timer pools, cast times, the wait times, and the uh, recast times. Um, again, in this Ranger demonstration, it's it's a pretty homogeneous, but where you can see um, the benefit of being able to weave those spells together and using the mapped key step states to disable and re-enable. If I look at my druid, <clears throat> starting from the top of the druid's DPS chain, I 
I've got a two minute uh, cool down and a five second cast time. The next key press is going to be a 10 minute cool down with a one second cast time. Third key press is 481 seconds. Which is eight minutes with a one second cast time. Fourth key press is a two minute and ten second cool down with a three second cast time. I forgot what key press we're on here. The next next key press, 721 seconds with one second cast time, 721 seconds with a one uh, two second cast time, uh, 600 seconds with a instant cast time right there, zero seconds instant, 600 seconds one second so all those spells are going to to weave together and trying to sort those out manually in your head by ta alt tabbing and pushing buttons from 15 minutes down to you know 11 seconds I didn't go all the way down to the bottom of the chain but there, there always recast is 11 seconds it, there's no way you could you could manage those manually so by using the mapped key step states um, you can let uh, pre-programming them into IS Boxer and letting it sort it out on its own. All you have to do is spam the keys. So hopefully that gives you a, an explanation or a visualization of how the mapped key step states can work together to weave your different abilities um, and to account for those uh, various cooldowns. Uh, that's all I got for this time. Thanks for watching.